sino ba naman yung ayaw ay maging happy, di ba? Hi folks! I'm Che and welcome to the very first episode of Che Talks! In this episode, we're going to talk about how my life was turned from OC to happy. Please don't miss a second of this video because I have a very special guest. I will introduce you to her later. So, please stick around. So, why OC to happy? Dati kasi, OC ako, perfectionist, idealistic, because I was brought up by a perfectionist mom. And since kindergarten to college, I've been an achiever. But then when I started working in a corporate setup, doon ako nag-struggle. Because I tend to set uh, high expectations on my colleagues and also set higher goals for myself. And I usually end up frustrated, disappointed. It's not helping me in the long run. There was one point in my career that I had a 180 degree turn. So, hindi siya 360, no? Kasi pag 360, you still go back to the same point where you were before. Kaya 180 siya, kasi parang you turn. I had this argument with my uh, teammate. Nung time na yun, nagkaroon ng cold war and I can't really concentrate sa, sa work ko. But it happened kasi bumibili ako ng Good Housekeeping magazine. It was very timely na nabasa ko yung article ni Dr. Judith Orloff. Uh, she's a psychiatrist and uh, intuitive healer. It was entitled, Go with the Flow. Yeah, and so steps to happiness. Since then, from being stiff, uh, naging ano ko, naging relaxed and um, naglusin up after reading that. It's very um, life uh, life changing. Whoever I I encounter, I'm just sharing to them that experience and some steps to happiness so that um, you will also feel better. First one uh, na nabasa ko doon is just to go with the flow. Uh, when things aren't going your way, uh, it's better to, you know, just go with the flow. Uh, the more you resist, kasi parang mas mahihirapan ka, and if hindi ka mag-surrender and go with the flow, anyway, hindi mo na rin makocontrol siya, you cannot do something about it. So, better just go with the flow. Parang gagaan pa yung feeling mo and you feel better rather than you push too hard and resist. So, again, you end up frustrated. Push reset button. Actually, sa mga professionals been working six days a week. Uh, there are also some companies who are working only five days a week. Nakapagod yung puro work, 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 and wala na po tayong rest. Uh, so, it's very important to push the reset button. So, in a week, we have day off uh, for us to spend time away from work. So, na reset po yung uh, mind natin. We are able to do things that we like to do away from work so that when we go back, refresh na po tayo and then ready to get on again with uh, and face other challenges and um, obstacles. Ay, kasi pag OC, perfectionist, idealistic, mahirap talaga siyang tanggapin that we committed mistake. Yun yung isa talaga sa mga uh, struggles ko din. I'm really having difficulty accepting mistakes. Yung tip na to is uh, somehow related to forgiving yourself as well. Uh, if we commit mistake, we know that we're wrong, we should forgive ourselves. And paulit-ulit, pabalik-balik na, why, why did I do that? Um, mali, or ang tanga-tanga ko, diba? So paulit-ulit, you're blaming yourself, and nagkakaself-pity ka na. So, what you need to do is just forgive yourself. Later on, of course, uh, we know what to do. We learn from those mistakes and hopefully, hindi na maulit yung mayon. Set smaller goals. 
Yung smaller goals kasi, feel mo na agad yung may something ka na na-achieve. You know, kesa sobrang laki and then ma-overwhelm ka, I don't know what to do. Uh, so, one of the tips there for a happier life is to set smaller goals. So, para pag na-achieve mo siya in a shorter span of time, you feel mo talaga yung fulfillment um, that you have achieved it. Let other people win. Yan. Kasi pag yung, alam mo yun, pag sobrang perfectionist na tayo, and we feel na always tayo lang yung tama, so, in every argument, gusto natin tayo yung panalo. So, it never works that way. Um, para magkaroon ka ng happier and more contented life, you have to let other people win. If you think of it, hindi naman ganun ka, ka best yung option or ideas nila. But, if you let them win in that argument, somehow, you gain their trust. Hmm because you give them the chance to contribute and share their thoughts and ideas, you gain their trust for doing that. So, let also other people win. There you go! Ang mga tips and tricks in living a happier and more relaxed life. So, from OC to happy. So, my life has never been happier when I learned those principles. As promised, I will introduce you to a very cute na guest. There's always a spark of joy every time I uh, glance at her. So without further ado, I introduce you to my cute na cute na puppy. It's Peachy Pie. Hi. Say hi to them, Peachy Pie. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> Peachy Pie. This is two month old pup. And she's a new member of our family. That's it for our first episode. And thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something from this. And I'm excited for the next episode. So watch out and continue to follow us on Chat. Bye for now!